Spanning more than 80 miles, Hadrian's Wall is a world-famous reminder of our history. But pieces of the region's heritage have been stolen, robbing others of the chance to understand our past. We've uh, acted on the tip-off from a member of the public who saw something suspicious and found over 50 metal detecting holes uh, all over this site. Ones like this? Very much like, like this, so they're quite characteristic and distinct from animal burrows or, or uh, uh, sheep scrapes or anything like that. They're very difficult, those kind of objects, to, uh, to, to track down in terms of provenance if you do see them on an online auction site or something like that. So that's amongst the most frustrating things is, is just not knowing what we've lost. When you see a beautiful site like this damaged, how does that make you feel? It is heartbreaking in a way. This site has such great potential to tell us about the Roman occupation, but unfortunately we're not going to get the information that we could have done out of it because of the loss of the, uh, the metallic objects from it. Many metal detectors hand in what they find along Hadrian's Wall for archaeologists to study. But these so-called night hawks use the cover of darkness to target areas like this where they know excavations aren't taking place. Police say stealing artefacts is a crime and one that they are taking very seriously. Hadrian's Wall attracts more than a million visitors every year. Those we spoke to here today are frustrated by the thefts. We're going to miss out on possibly some important things about our history and we don't know whether what's been stolen is valuable, but it's just wrong. That's, that's not good, that's a shaming, but because uh, within a few years there is nothing, any, there's nothing more. And then, yeah, that's all, all the things are gone. It's a real shame because we lose the bits and pieces that they take, whatever they may be, out of context and probably we never see them again and they just disappear into the ether. Historic England is asking the public to help by saying if they see anything suspicious. They say it's up to us to help protect the past for the future. Jessica Nevin, ITV News.